All right, I apologize for not be making the best video here, but I was having trouble getting uh, information on this. Um, a lot of people on the forums were talking about it, but I just kind of wanted to see what was happening for myself. This bell housing is from the 2010 Toyota FJ Cruiser 6-speed. I have 156,000 miles on it. Uh, I was starting to get some grinding noise on, card, on cold startups and eventually on all startups. And then it was kind of intermittent, but it eventually got to the point where is, if the engine was running, I was hearing a grinding noise. I actually thought it was a serpentine belt pulley that had already gone, that gone bad because that's a, that's a very common issue uh, with the Toyotas as well. So right off the bat, you're getting grinding noises. Some people get a chirping noise. I was getting both. Uh, what ends up happening is this is a steel bearing. The steel bearing rides on an aluminum quill that is cast into the bell housing. Over time, that metal bearing shaves off material and even creates a groove that which just kind of catches on. You can kind of feel it in your clutch pedal. But it may not show up in the video too much. Anyway, chirping and grinding noise. 156,000 miles. That's where it's coming from. So the grinding is from this bearing. This bearing's kind of got a little bit of crunching noise to it. You could hear that all the time while the car was idling. I don't know why it was intermittent at first, but it just took a while. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, I had to fight to get a bell housing new for $650. They tried to get me for, I want to say $850 or $900. I can't remember now. This has taken a few weeks to, to do because I had a whole bunch of other work done while I was dealing with this. Um, this does require, you got to rem remove the transmission, disassemble the transmission to get this thing off of here. So um, there are a couple of other options I have read about on the forums. There's a steel sleeve kit out there and there's also a hydraulically controlled throwout kit out there. Um, I, uh, but yeah, I, I, I wasn't really sure what to do because I wasn't doing this work and I wanted something that was going to be, uh, how do I say it's like consistent or, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want the transmission shop to do something custom and then it'd be my problem for bringing an aftermarket part. So to put this back to factory, we got a, almost 160,000 miles on this thing. Um, and so if it's going to last another 150,000 miles, uh, you know, I'll just go this route. But this, the new bell housing I put in the truck was the only one in the country. So when you start hearing this bearing noise, you have some time. Save your pennies <laughs> if you're going to do it this, rate, this way. Um, but, you know, being so much labor, uh, I'll just tell you right off the bat, with parts and labor, I'm $4,300 in. But I will say that I did a clutch. I did pressure plate. I did all, you know, rear main seals. I put new seals in the transfer case. Uh, there's a new shaft in the transmission. Some other stuff. I mean, there's like 1,100 parts just on the inside of the transmission. I had synchronizers and all that stuff. I figured it's all going to be a part. Let's do it. Get it done. And should be good for another 150,000 miles or until I break something else. But anyway, so to really refurbish everything you touch with new parts, UV joints, and all that, expect $3,000 in parts, 4000 or whatever with labor. Might be cheaper if you go with the steel sleeve or the uh, or the hydraulic kit from URD. But like I said, made 160,000 miles. It, it, the noise was lasting for 30. You have some time, so you know, do with it what you will. But this is this is the this is what caused all of it. It's kind of a fly, flaw uh, by design. Hope this helps somebody.